Ano yung mga expect natin dito? May crack na yung STI BSB. Will they go back? Tingin mo, Yako, dun sa ginawa nila sa Game 1. Uh, depende pa kasi yung crack. Malaking bagay yung sa 1-3-1 rotation. Yeah. Kasi kaya niyang saluhin yung lahat ng skills ng mga support natin. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, depende pa sa mga susunod na mga kabanata natin dito sa ating draft. <laughs> Midnight. Uh, I think, think they should switch to the Esmeralda, no? Esmeralda lineup. It's really good against the uh, Grok ng STI. The thing about Grok is it blocks the Diggy and Nana. Kasi ang ginagawa ni Grok dito is na-invalidate na, na, yung, ano, na, 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 yung ginagawa ni Diggy at Nana. Kasi what you do inside the game is ibato mo yung uh, charge mo and saluhin mo lahat ng ibabato ng Diggy and Nana. Yes, makuna. Ay, yes, masakit. Pero at least nawawala kasi yung, ano, yung mage potential ng dalawa. Kasi the thing about those two supports is sila yung heaviest abusers ng 5-man ano, ng mask. If you remove that, wala kang Diggy Nana. Okay. We will see now Kimi Grand and Johan. Very successful for BSP. Your we'll see them in action picking. again. Different naman para sa STI. Kumuha ulit sila ng x -Bork and then they went back to Granger. This still tells me nga lang na yung STI sila. <laughs> Ito pa rin yung talagang ginagawa nila even before. Yeah. Even before MPL Season 5, we always see them with the Grok, Granger, and x -Bork. What should they be changing now? Kasi evidently, hindi siya ganun ka-effective last time. Ano yung difference kayo para sa STI? Uh, well, for one, they have they have the natural way of sustaining the push of k -Meet. There's an X-Borg and the Grok on their lineup. And meron silang early game potential na hinahanap natin on the Granger. Kayang-kaya nilang tapatan yung uh, lineup ng BSB dito. And the thing about their lineup is mas scaling sila towards the late game. Kasi Kimi, ang, uh, ang natural na scaling Kimi is yung early game, tapos nagpo-follow siya medyo sa mid-game, lalo kapag uh, wala siyang, uh, walang additional damage on their side. If you look at their, the lineup of BSB, medyo one-sided yung, uh, yung damage nila. It's all on the Kimi. So kapag nag-follow, kapag nag-fail yung early game ng BSP dito at wala silang pansalo ng late game dahil nga nakaban yung carry on the side of STI, they should scale towards the uh, STI's lineup. Oh. Now, nakikita natin yung Baksha picked seven times already sa MPL. And you know what? We, we've, we've had, what, ten games so far? Yeah. So mataas ang big rate ni Baksha. Quietly, hindi natin ito masyado na-expect. But I guess that at this point na sikat sikat na sikat na sikat yung mga picking. marksman. Not natural lang na makita natin yung backshot picked many times in the meta. <laughs> BSB, tingin nyo ba magdidigi ulit sila dito? Or, oh. Oh. we saw this before, Yaku. Yeah. Very strong, uh, napalakas ng push potential. Yes. And I think it was uh, you level who also picking. used this. Yep, I, I, uh, ikaw, yung magkawin na Yaku. Uh, yung sa scan nila pinik niya kasi kaya nga saluhin ng Grok, tas nung expert yung Burst ng Diggy Nana, which is yung di nila kayang gawin, yung saluhin yeah. yung SAS. So parang lapag yung SAS yung SS, out na. Parang si Gawar, oh, kalasa uh -huh. na. Parang may pumatok na teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Atrasa na. Oh, oh, Pag naglabas na ng SS yung SAS. Sakto. Okay. Uh, that was funny. STI naman. Uh, do you like this Gord pick up para sa kanila? Or yeah. no, hindi na napipili. Eh. I was about to say na, ano eh. Hindi, considering yeah, pangit yung Gord eh. Changit talaga dapat sila dito considering Gord yeah. last. And the Valir is no, the ultimate counter against the whole, whole lineup of BSB. It's Joed, Basha, and Kimi. Hindi hindi ka makakalapit sa Granger. Okay. BSB, they still have uh, one last pick. I'm I'm thinking this is their fighter or their mark or their safe laner. So Joed usually yung solo, magsasolo para sa kanila. Cho is still available. Do you like Cho or yung par medyo katulad ni Cho na hero para sa BSB? Yako, what do you think is Kuwa your goal? Kuha sila ng tank. Lolita. It's the Cap 1 classic. Lolita. Oh. Tsaka Lolita lang yung pinakita ni Cap 1 last week. Okay. Pero ito ha, magandang ano to ha, magandang starting point to ha. Grok's win rate is 100%. So okay. nasa side siya ni STI. Yeah. <laughs> but ito kasi yung iniisip ko. Granger and uh, Chango for STI. Dalawa yung classic counters ng BSB, which is back. Crucial win! Let's see who takes game number two between STI and BSB. Crucial win indeed, and I starting to feel like BSB wants to end the game as fast as they can because they did pick up the Kimi and the Zask, and Kimi and the Zask, they really can go for the early game. Uh, oh, Grashen, speaking of early game aggression here, Trevor down to quarter Ooh, HP, manages to survive, that's going to be Lembot with the Rhapsody taking him down. Great use of the power of nature there also by Dockman coming in, able to catch off Trevor just when he was about to get out of range and SCI with a great opening that they wanted. Now fighting over the Litho Wonder. BSB though able to secure it, but no! Grog gets caught off there. That's one, one now down for both teams. Dockman getting taken.
So yeah, let's see if BSB can replicate it. Shadow Cutie, of course, the mage for the side of BSB, a great mage in his own right. Sad that uh, we're not able to see his Esmeralda here because yeah. that's his that's his flavor pick. That's his go-to pick. BSB did win that second game against SGD last week with the help of Shadow Cutie's Esmeralda. Meanwhile, though, slow game for both teams right now. I like that SAI now went for the X Borg in the side lane. That is the fighter that they're going to need to hold it down. But it looks like it's Jawhead going to be going up against the Valier. Valier might have a hard time here. I'd say the latter. Mm. I think it's going to be Jawhead having a hard time against Valier. You, you, as a uh, ranged uh, mage, you have an advantage over tanks with the fact that you are ranged. Yeah. And of, yeah, of course, a long knockback. Oh, but Dogman gets caught off. The ejector brings him up. Power of Nature being loaded up. Will they be able to get a kill on Wilson? UG's there. Oh, oh but Wilson. Great use of the flicker. Uh, but there goes the old something from UG. Not enough. Oh, oh it misses. <laughs> but UG still able to get the kill on Wilson. If only the eject connected. Different story there. But this is BSB once again securing early game control, securing the top lane. Ooh. And you got to. You gotta take note though that Crimson is also still rocking that flame shot on that Valir. Yeah. And so since it's the hands of Crimson, it's gonna be a carry Valir. Yeah, and looking at the lineups of both teams, they really provide a lot of space. And oh no, Trapper catches off Crimson here, but Crimson has help. Here comes Yuji yeah. and Lambo. Cop on is there too. Uh, no, but will they be able to close down the distance? Valir getting taken down there, but at the same mid time, Grog gets taken down off camera here in the mid lane. So one for one trade there. And they are going to be sieging this up. There goes the last Sandy. Sandy. Going to try to be used to deter BSB from pushing in, but you know, it's, he's, he's just tickling them at this point. Not. A lot of damage just yet. Uh, we will start feeling X Borg's presence as soon as we hit the mid game point around six, seven, uh, around the six and seven minute mark. Mm -hmm. And pretty much right now, you're going to be seeing uh, the oh no, Yuji though. Cop one is real close by, but he's able to get that movement buff. Able to get away. Next two, here comes the assist just to provide a little bit of space for their Chang'e. Looking at the items right now, Raptor Machete already secured by the Granger. Both the uh, SEI running three masks, BSB running four. Just funnel as much EXP as they can towards that Kimmy Wilson. and funneling a lot of damage towards that Wilson on that Jawhead. But I was supposed to say earlier on, if you've noticed the uh, minimap earlier on, it was BSB just making sure that SCI is nowhere near the turtle. Mm. They're forcing everybody away from the turtle so that Kimmy can get the buff, the additional gold and EXP for the rest of the team. That's how BSB has been playing. The Ooh, dog man. <laughs> Look at Dogman going in through the wall. Wild charge knocks up Do Cop One. Cop One getting really low, getting chased by Cripsu. Lembot can't, <laughs> can't get even can't get past the turtle. He can't get past it. The turtle just blocks it. But here comes the rest of BSB for the assist. Cripsu getting really low. The flame shot is a maximum charge hit, but not enough damage. Here comes the rest of S uh, BSB chasing after Dogman. The there goes the unstoppable force. Dogman able to provide the space just to make sure that the two carries get away. I just gotta say though, Cop One was microing like a god there. Crips' skill shots were not connecting. And he was so close too. Quick si sidestep shimmy. Doing the... A little shake and bang. Well, you actually do the crossover. But there goes a wild charge. And there goes the sixth man, the nightmare. Look at that escape by Shader Cutie. Great use there. My that, goodness. That's what I've been talking about. You get a free flicker there. Oh, no. But oh. you can't escape that because that's not a... It's going to hit you in the face. But there goes oh. the, the blast connecting off the Lambo. Lambo danger slow. It's going to be forced to flicker out. Well, but there, there goes Wilson. Wilson's going to... Take out Lambo. Take out Lambo. And that's going to be the push in for BSB. They're going to try to uh, take down this Dockman play. Player. Not gonna happen anytime soon, but Crimson low on HP. Jiraxu does not have the maximum charge available. Trevor might actually go for it. Whoa. He's gonna dive in. No, he's not that ballsy enough. Not that ballsy enough. That turret just deterring Trevor's charge to Dockman. Just a lot of the damage dealt out there when they were able to take out, I believe that was Shader Cutie or Cop One coming from the Desonata and the Flame Shots. And my man, Direction has all the buffs. All the buffs. And he's level 10, 2-0 and, and 1. And all the EXP and gold is being funneled to Jeraxon at this point. That four-man mask. Level 10 Jeraxon, level 8 Lembo. That's a, a, city's a, that's a city away. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be able to get the turtle. That is a nice attempt by Nixu there to try to steal the lord, but, uh, the, the, the turtle, I mean, but that's not going to happen because Trevor's doing a good job protecting Jeraxu. This bottom lane turn is going to go down, and just as I say that, they managed to take down 
uh, Nixu there, and this might be a clash in the bottom lane. Good trade there, tower for a hero, hero for a tower. Trevor sees out Dockman. The Garak, meanwhile, SDI taking down the turret, and Jirax new once again, there in the top lane, just look how fast that turret is going down. But Dockman able to save it at the nick of time, but he is up against a carry. Will it be enough to try to stop? No, it won't be. That's another turret down for the side of STI. BSB securing it, and Dockman now has to back. Here comes the rest of STI, Nixu and Yuji coming in for the assist, but they won't be able to get close enough. Oh, another buff, another crab. Jirak's new man. has been pretty masterful with that Kimmy so far in this entire series. But as I say, that Fire Stings are going to be pulling Cap 1 close. Not close enough to uh, dish out a lot of damage. And they're going to be disengaging here. And this is what I like about BSB. They're choosing their fights wisely. They're not reacting to what SCI mm. is throwing at them. They're rather, they're letting, they're allowing SCI to just react to them. And look at this. Bottom lane can properly be sieged up because while that's happening, four man Trevor. push here onto Trevor. And Trevor's no doubt going to go down here. And there's not going to be a rotation from BSB because they know that's going to be space created because the mid lane is going to be the primary target. And as well as Nixu, who is going to go down. Flame shot's not going to connect, but Shider Cutie is going to be throwing out that nightmare. Oh, control BSB has here on the map. I feel like a lot of it is coming from the fact that Jiroxnu is already level 12. So if SDI, as you mentioned, reacts somewhere else, they can just push another lane easily. As long as they protect Jiroxnu. Great map control here by BSB. SDI having a really difficult time. Yes, they're taking objectives. Even though they're down two turrets compared to BSB, they're having a really tough time here because it seems like just when they thought they get something, BSB takes something back. And that's what you want. And they're going to be uh, getting the turtle. Dogman tried to go for the seal, and this is going to be a shot. big team fight. Flame shot, Flame shot are going to be uh, expanded here. There goes the last insanity. Is it going to be catching three people off guard? That's going to be the new oh, 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 two people oh. in the back line. So Wills is going to be diving in. Not going to go for the eject, but instead. Yeah, well, he did go for the eject there onto them, but Maximum oh Charge is going to be connecting. Goodness. It's just Yuji on his own, and I honestly feel like there's no turning her back here for SCI yeah. at this point. The fact that Lembot is only 4, 2, and 2, and level 10. Jirax News, level 13, still has two buffs on him there. Tough game. I thought they were able to get away, but that Maximum Charge landing, Jirax New. I feel like I got a boo. No. <laughs> Just sidestepping the rocket. A rocket to the moon, but the moon able to move away. I know the moon doesn't yeah. move. like. Yeah. But he's, she's no. riding a moon. Just, just give it to me, man. She's Dogman riding in trouble. Um, no, uh, a pseudo moon. It's not the real moon. It, it is to her. Don't ruin the dreams of a child, no man. I ruined child children's dreams. Okay, then. Going back into the game. We have to commend Jirax new. Back-to-back -back Kimmy games. Really well done. I just really, really well done. I just want to say though that this is still good control from BSB. I mean, they could, they would have rotated to Trevor over the top side earlier on so that they can force out a team fight. But they know for a fact that map control is more important than kills, and they mm -hmm. secured the mid lane. And because of that mid lane being secured, and Nixu was the sole person defending that, they got away with a free kill as oh well. And Kripsu is not oh gonna be <laughs> Go back to base! Go back home! I felt that, bruh. I <laughs> felt that in my bones, bruh. Cripsu phone home, man. Get back. That was a maximum charge and a flame shot. And he gets taken down like, what, 90% of his health? This is the world that we live in now, man. Ouch! Welcome to the Mobile Legends Professional League Season 5, where flame shots hurt everybody. Jirox new charging up that maximum charge. Catches a <laughs> blood <ball. laughs> Look at that damage! Oh my goodness! You know, oh. it, it, SCI's lineup, if they switched up um, Yuji with, I don't know, Estes, they would have lasted longer in the team fights than now. I oh. feel like an Estes pick would have worked. But this is not going to work. Nixu going for the last insanity. Just to get away, though. Just to get away. And Trebor is going to be the front line. It doesn't matter. Heart of Nature. The cup 1 does have the Numenum Blast available. He's going to be uh, waiting for the proper opportunity here. And they are going to be disengaging, uh, waiting for the Lord to march in. Jawhead's going to be pushing the side lanes. And they should actually start pushing the, side, the top lane as well. But they are going to be walking with the Lord this time around. Lord marching down the middle, Dogman charging it up. Here comes the last insanity just to try to provide a bit of space. Numenon but blast. it puts another dangerous spot. The flicker. Because going in with a Numenon Blast to the back line, providing the space that they need. And this Lord goes down really quickly. Great defense here by SCI, making the most out of their range here. Especially that Meteor Shower coming in from that Chang'o. 
Great use. Great defense. I felt like if that Numina Blast was timed a little bit earlier when they were still up against the turret. Could have been a different story. A completely different chapter in this story that is the downfall of SCI in this match because they are really on the back foot. They are reactive to what BSB is doing. They're not looking for openings to get into this game. Oh, let's see. How is STI going to recover from this if they can? Look at Trevor! He's, He's going all the way to the back! He doesn't care! Look at him back. just soaking it up! Meanwhile, they're by the turret. Oh, Wilson Yuji. gets Yuji! Yuji gets really low! Unstoppable force! Wilson but Wilson care. goes down! He doesn't care! He gets to kill us one for one! Now, STI has to be careful, though! They can't! Really? Oh my goodness! Uh, Winter Truncheon. Winter Truncheon saving Cripsu's life. Oh, they're Last gonna go insanity. for the offensive here. SCI's gonna go for the offensive. Oh. Numenon on blast. Numenon blast connecting onto that one guy. That's gonna be Dog, Dog Man going down. That's the tank going down as well. And this is gonna be an open uh, mid lane for them. Just, just they're just gonna be waiting for the minion wave to push in. And Kimmy doesn't even have to have any tanks. Well, now she does because everybody's falling back. But you know, that was. That was a good call for Wilson to just single out uh, UG mm -hmm. and then push everybody back. Just focus all the attention on towards Wilson. It didn't matter that he died because they, had, they took a turret off of that. Yeah, and this is what the story we were talking about BSB earlier. They w are willing to trade if they know the trade really does well for them. And that's what we saw. Wilson traded himself, got a kill, and they also got a turret. That's a... That's not a, an even trade. That is a completely one-sided trade. It's like BSB got Kobe, yes, the I got stuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Don't put, that, put, don't put yourself down so much. I'm not a basketball player, man. I'm a football player. Really? I didn't know that. So do you main Bruno in this game? Yes. Ah, I see. Okay, then. Back into the game. BSB. Oh, Jerox is charging up the maximum charge. He's not going to be connecting it to anybody. Not connecting it, but that is a scary Trevor rock. Gets oh, the Nixu. Nixu, but he does have the Firaga armor. Cop 1 does have the Numino Blast, but Look it's not going to be expanding it. Trevor doesn't care, but... Oh, oh wait. Oh, hold up, though. Numino Blast? Oh. Not connecting onto anybody. Oh, a little bit of a sloppy play that we're seeing here from BSB. Yeah, they take a lot of damage, but SDI okay. takes another kill, getting closer and closer to evening out the resource here. BSB, do you think they're getting a little bit cocky? Because that was that was messy from Trevor. Very, I wouldn't say it's Trevor. Oh, well, yeah, Trevor. It, it is actually Trevor. <laughs> but wow. yeah, Wilson oh, with the flicker, flicker just evading everybody. But he's not going to be escaping that. But now that's a free kill on the side of SEI because BSB is not going to be converting it into any other objectives. But they are applying a pressure here near the bottom lane, the bottom jungle. Just so that they can cont that they can take the Lord without any problems at all. Yeah, well, if I was STI, I would try to get a pick off first before you go into a full fight here in the Lord pit. But BSB actually giving up their positional advantage away from the Lord pit. Maybe they're trying to bait STI into taking that position for themselves, and then they're gonna come in. And it looks like that might be what's happening here because Granger now in a much better spot in the back lane. But Dogman is not. He gets caught off with the rest of BSB. There goes a flame shot and I'm another flame shot. Dogman is really low. Trevor wants to get to the back. Maximum charge not gonna be connecting though. Just white. Just right outside the range. Cop 1 and the rest of BSB, they are going to be applying a lot of pressure. Ooh. Buckman, despite you flickering out, you're not going to be expecting the projectile that's already on your way. I feel like that's what we saw there. BSB giving up their positional advantage on the Lord just a little bit. Gave it to STI, but then punished them because they were able to go for the swing around and getting more kills there. And now they Easy can take Lord. this Lord uncontested. But wait a minute. Oh, no. Lemba does not have a... Uh, that's not up. That's not going to be hitting anyway. Oh, yeah. Great body block there. Oh, no, but he's in trouble here. He gets a flicker away and also uses the Rondo. <laughs> Flame shot, dodging it, and he gets away safely. But BSB has the Lord once again next to oh, Last insanity. insanity being loaded up. Can he get someone? No, he just gets the Nightmare. Yuji using Meteor Shower, trying to get a little bit more damage done, but not enough. SDI once again in the defense here, but... I feel like BSB though, they have to start getting careful because we have been seeing a little bit, a few sloppy plays from them. Don't count out SCI just yet because 
they have shown that they can make the most out of a mistake from BSB. I'm starting to feel like if they're going to make a mistake here, it might be Trevor. Uh, the way that he's moving, really charging into the back line, is really aggressive here. And if he's not careful, he might get caught out. It looks like that's what is happening here. But, but Crypto uh, <laughs> getting so much damage for the Crypto back. Here comes Wilson. Oh, unstoppable force. Last insanity use as well. There goes the damage, but here comes the Meteor Shower, giving them the room they need to Trevor go on the retreat. But here comes Trevor. Still just with Big Daddy Lord. Dogman taking so much damage from Giraffe's news. Kimmy getting a lot of damage there and he needs to heal up. That's another turret down over there in the mid lane. Only the bottom lane turret is up. Looks like BSB are trying to look to end this right now. Lambo taking a lot of damage from the maximum yeah. charge. Last insanity to use on top one just to provide space, but this is not going to be enough. This is futile. That turret's going down. Completely futile. And wild a charge! Wild, wild charge! charge. And the, well, oh, oh, I'm lost over words. Or Wilson's going to be diving into the back lines. And SCI, they're going to try to defend this, but they don't have enough minions here available. But now they do. And this is going to be a BSB game. It doesn't matter anymore. 2-0 in favor of BSB. We can see yung post game stats natin. It was quite a, a very high kill game. Pero ang hindi dito na kontra ng STI is Jerax no 5-0-8. Kanina yako parang ML na ML to si Jerax no. Napansin natin. <laughs>